Hey, what's up? Scott Balkin here with Imagination Creation Films, and today, well, we're building barn doors for tube lights. Nice. So you've got your fantastic quasars. They're amazing, they're cool, and they spill light everywhere because, well, they're tube lights. That's what they do. And you remember back in the old days, you had those Kino flows, and those Kino flows were amazing, but you don't have one of those for this. Now you can go and buy a Kino flow bank and, and put the quasars in there, or for about $8, you can make your own barn doors that fold just like the Kinos. So let's dig into this little DIY tip and uh, let's get you some barn doors right now. So the first thing we're gonna do is clean our workspace. All right, so in a nutshell, what these really are are some poster board and you could use Coreplex or Coreflex or Coreplast, whatever they call it. It's corrugated plastic. They use it for sign material. If you can get it in black, that'd be even better than this because it's it's a little more rigid. Uh, but this poster board is pretty strong. I mean, I've been using it for a while now and it's pretty nice. So you're gonna need, and they come in sheets. This one is uh, 20 by 30. Uh, you're gonna need two sheets. Uh, two sheets will make two four-footers. Uh, one sheet should make two two-footers or a couple of one-footers. It's, it's, you know, it's up to you. But what we're going to be doing, let me put this out of the way here, is we're gonna be making one and a half of these little guys. And these little guys are just cut pieces of this right here. <laughs> so what you're gonna need in addition to this, this poster board, which is just foam core poster board, uh, you're gonna need tape measure, you're gonna need some skizzers, don't run with scissors. You're gonna need some wonderful gaff tape, black. You're gonna need a bright colored marker. You're going to need some needle nose pliers, some lineman's pliers, or any kind of pliers, really. You're gonna need some, this is, uh, this is a 14 gauge copper wire, single strand. This, you find this in the electrical of, of like Home Depot. You only need like three feet for your whole thing. Well, get about six feet so you feel better about yourself. But some, some copper wire, you need a mat to cut on, and then uh, you're gonna need like a straight edge so that you can cut. That's, that's all you're gonna need, oh, yeah. And a really sharp and dangerous X-Acto tool. So if you're under the age of 18, be sure to ask your parents permission first because we care about safety around here. Also, don't run with scissors. Don't do it. All right, let's get started here. Let's put this off to the side. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut this piece of 20 by 30 right down the middle. And we're gonna cut it, it's 20 inches this way, and we're gonna cut it 10 inches across and, uh, and go from there. So the first thing is we're gonna mark this right at 10 inches on this side. And we're gonna to go to this side over here. And we're gonna mark it at 10 inches. Put that off to the side. And then you use this handy dandy. And then you use this handy dandy cutter here. What this does is it keeps your knife blade from penetrating into the, the wood below. Now, here's an... In Here's an important point. When you cut this, do not cut all the way through. You just want to cut through this top piece of poster board and a little bit of that foam. So don't get super excited when you start cutting. You want to line it up where it's just a little bit off. Then you want to use your X-Acto blade. You want to put firm pressure. I'm going to stand up for this. Firm pressure on it as you cut and then just kind of cut it just a little bit of an angle is going to start taking away from you. And we're going to go all the way down. You remember, you're not cutting all the way through. You're just cutting through the poster board and a little bit of foam. Okay. That is now cut. Then we just, look at that. Pops. And now all we have to do is trim this this way. 
which we're going to do thusly. Just taking the X-Acto, we're gonna go all the way down it. And now we've cut it in half. Now, the reason I say don't cut it all the way through, and, and you'll see this as we go, because we're gonna use the poster board as actual hinges in the very, very near future. So let's put one of these to the side. And we're gonna work on this piece right here. Now on this piece, we're going to measure. We need a three inch section down the middle and three and a half inch on either side. So the quick way to measure that is if we come over here, use our handy dandy tape measure, we're gonna mark it at three and a half inches and then six and a half inches. Then we're gonna do the same thing down here. Th three and a half inches and six and a half inches. And then we're going to cut again. Again, do not cut all the way through because we need that hinge. Line it up. Get your handy dandy exacto in there. And then we're gonna do it one more time. And if you mess up, it's okay. It's, it's poster board. Hold it at just a slight angle. And don't cut off the aluminum. Hold it at a slight angle. And then just take your time. Nice, slow cut all the way to the end. Very good. Now, we have already made, right here, our first important part. Look at that, you pop it over, you take this one, you're just gonna break it over. Now you've got your first important part of your barn doors. Now, these won't stay, and this cardboard will fail if you don't protect it. So the way you're gonna protect it is you're going to line this whole thing with your gaff tape. And to do that, the best way is to have a friend hold it while you get gaff tape. And you wanna do one continuous piece. And then you wanna rip your gaff tape and make sure when you rip your gaff tape, you don't do that. <laughs> Ugh, so irritating. So irritating. Ugh. 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 No. Ugh. I'm stupid. I don't want to do this anymore. All right. You want to place it right in the center of the foam core. Now, when you do that, put your finger inside and push it in to the crack. This is important. And I'll explain in just a second. Push it into the crack, make sure it's folded over and push it in, that, that kind of sounded dirty. Don't, don't go there, don't go there. Okay, we pushed it into the crack. Don't. Now we're gonna fold the tape over Make it nice and neat so that your mom will be proud. Now, notice what happens. When we fold this, remember how we put the tape on the inside? It actually seals it back up. If we had put the tape while it was flat, as you go to flex it, you would be ripping that tape off. It would not work. Not good. So you gotta do it this way. I know, you're thinking, I don't wanna do it Scott's way, I wanna do it my way. This is not the first one I built. This is the first correct one I built. So remember, tear your tape like a good boy or a good girl. Now we're gonna go right over the middle. And again, start from the center 
and poke, poke, poke it in the middle. Get it all the way down till it's in the middle on the whole distance. Then start at the begin the middle and go outward. Kind of press it out. Make it all pretty so your mom will be proud. And then fold it and fold it all the way down until you have a beautiful done piece. Then you're just gonna take your scissors and you're gonna trim off this tape and you're going to get it all nice and neat. You're gonna make sure that no distractions continue to be distracting. Okay, now we have the basis of our barn doors. Now, if you notice, they kind of do whatever the heck they want, and that's where this copper wire comes in. Now, we need about 11 inches or so of copper wire. The way I do it is I measure it really badly by taking my needle nose pliers, and you wanna make a loop. So take about three quarters of an inch to an inch and fold it over in a little loop. See the little loop, isn't it cute? Lay it down, and we don't want it to be all the way to the edge over here. We want it to be just a little bit away. So again, now we're going to bend this one over this way and then find a good three quarters of an inch or so, cut it, and then bend it. And this ultimately would be probably about 11 and a half inches long. So the finished piece is right at nine and a quarter. So if it's 11 inches, that would give you enough to fold over and it goes just like that. So let's take one and measure it at exactly 11 inches. Cut it. Fold the end over. There we have it. We want to do this three times. All right, now what you wanna do, if you're gonna make a pair of four footers, you're gonna make this one, and then you're going to make another one out of the other piece of poster board that you have. Then you're going to do it again with another piece so that you'll have three of these. And you're gonna take one of them you're gonna turn it over, you're gonna measure, and you're gonna cut it right down the middle. And that's gonna give you one of these. So now you've got a 30 inch piece and a 15 inch piece. Now you're cooking with fire. Next, what we're going to do is we're gonna join these two. There we go. All right, now that you get it lined up, we're gonna lay it flat on the table. Make sure that these hinges are perfectly lined up. We're gonna lay it flat on the table and then we're going to tape right across it. 
Get your tape ready. Rip it. And then have a friend press down on it where it's really snug. Where it's really snug. And then line it up in the middle. Make sure you're doing the side that is uh, bending upward. Do not do this on the other side. And I'll show you why in just a minute. Remember when we talked about the uh, it piercing? Well, you've got to do this one like this. So get it at an angle. Take your piece like this, go right over the top. Once you get it in the top, now go in the crevice. Don't, don't do that. And then we're gonna go down this side, go in the crack. And then we're gonna go down, okay. Now we can open it up, fold it over. And now we have a pretty decent joint. This will, um, I mean, th these are not gonna last forever, but they might. You could reinforce this a couple of times, but you can always do it after the fact anyway. Now all we need to do is to do our wires, and then we're going to trim the edges with more gaff tape. So to put our wires in here, all we're gonna do is lay these flat, come about two inches from the edge, and then have someone hold it flat down here. Get enough tape to overhang a little bit. And then Stick it down the middle, getting really tight up against that wire. And we are gonna reinforce this with two additional layers of tape. We're gonna do that because I need the practice apparently. Put it right on top of the wire, just, just overhanging slightly. Get it all nice and smooth. And we're putting this wire on the inside, by the way, not the outside. If you put it on the outside, when you bend it, it's gonna have that same problem. So let's do one more coating. Then we just lift it up and fold it over. Make it nice and neat so your mom will be proud. And now we're gonna do this two more times, equidistant. Just like about that. Well, we're gonna offset this one just like that. And the reason we're gonna offset it, well, there's going to be a baby plate right in the middle. So it needs to be off a little bit. I suck at this, I can't do it. When I figure out how to do it properly, gaff tape, tearing it, I'm gonna do a whole training session on how to do it. Because that's what we do here. We share what, yeah! We share what we learn. It's one side. Stupid. Make sure you got good gaff tape.
All right, pick it up, fold it over, make it look nice and neat so your mom will be proud. And then we're doing it one more time. Don't make the mistake of putting that wire on the outside. <laughs> Don't do what I did. Using these extra layers of, of tape is specifically because there is going to be tension with the wire on this poster board. So you wanna give it as much of a bite on this poster board so it doesn't just rip the, the, the fabric or the, the paper right off. Okay, fold it over, make your mommy proud. Mommy. And then, uh, boom. Now, the only thing we need to do is run this entire length with this. Now, if you fold this over now, you can see it works and it holds it, keeps it all nice and neat. Okay, and we're just going to run this whole length here just so that we make it nice and neat. Right down the center. Press it on, and then the inside. And what that'll do is that'll give your edge a little bit of protection because if you were to hit this, this poster board, it would start to separate from the foam core. So by doing this, you've given it a nice fabric edge. It won't do that. And then one more. You know, they may not be the very prettiest on the planet, but honestly, I never thought the Kino flows were pretty either. They were just coreplast, coreplex, core, whatever they were. And then when you're done, all you're gonna do is you're gonna trim off these edges. And voila, you now have a bendable, foldy, amazingly cool quasar or any kind of Astera or the Titan tubes or even some Chinese models. It'll work just fine in there. Now, when you use my other video, which I'll link right here, right, yeah, right here, then uh, you'll have the instructions on how to use these put them through and then magically you've got mounts for your quasars with barn doors what could be more fun gaff tape so as always if you have any questions or comments do feel free to put those in the comment section down below i do try to read and respond to each and every one even if it's just to say thank you also please give this a thumbs up if you like it if you don't give it a thumbs down i mean it all helps uh and remember to subscribe and, and also the little alert bell next to it that way you'll get notified when i do live streams uh also i do have a patreon if you wish to support me that way it allows me i mean honestly it was the patreon that allowed me the 15 dollars to buy all the supplies for all of this 
uh, and it was 100% due to Patreon. So please go out there and show me a little love that way. And uh, as always, as I like to leave it, don't let your passions center around your life. Let your life center around your passions. Oh,